And it is time now to visit another expert. We have Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, an expert in infection control, also the founder of Health Watch USA. Dr. Cavanaugh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Jack. Somebody asked me yesterday uh, if you get the coronavirus uh, and you are sick enough to either go to the hospital or go see a doctor or whatever, is there any treatment at all as in antibiotics or over-the-counter anything to make you more comfortable? What, what will they give you, if anything? Well, they will give you definitely supportive care. And first of all, before we go into that, I should say, before going into the doctor, call in first okay. so they can meet you outside and get you in a proper area. You don't want to infect other people. Mm -hmm. But after that is done, you can certainly get supportive care, which includes oxygen, if you need an assisted breathing to get a ventilator, and if by chance you did develop a bacterial infection, which can sometimes happen with severe viral pneumonias, then antibiotics would be helpful. All of these supportive measures are crucial to recovery. But if you look at there is no medicine, there is no medicine like a Tamiflu for the flu. Well, they have some experimental drugs that are, were used for treatment of AIDS, which they're trying to use. And there is maybe some hope with that. But they're not available in vast enough quantities to, uh, you know, to use today. But that is hope. And maybe a few months down the line, maybe a few weeks down the line, we'll have better guidance on that and we'll have something to really use definitively. Okay. And you were kind of in mid-sentence. I kind of interrupted you. Go ahead. Oh, well, and what I was saying is that's one of the reasons why it's so important we don't overflood our health care system. And that's referred now to flattening the curve. We need to delay the peak of the cases so that we're sure that we have enough health care out there to take care of the people that get sick. And that is so important. And that's why the social distancing is so important. That's why the moves the, gover the governor has made so early on in Kentucky is important. And the closing of the sports uh, activities is extremely important. It's not only important from the aspect of preventing spread, but also from driving home to the average Kentuckian that this is a huge problem that needs to be paid attention to. I mean, when you start canceling basketball games in Kentucky, you finally realize it's serious. So it sends a lot of messages which are good, and it also is extremely important for prevention. Because if you have a huge gathering, that is just a petri dish for spreading disease. Uh, you shouldn't even be having right now smaller gatherings, such as church services. And certainly if you're elderly, which unfortunately I fall into that category, you should avoid crowds and avoid people whenever. And if you have to go out, stay at least six feet away from people. And if someone who you think is infected, I, I wouldn't approach them within a mile at this point. That person should be isolated. Well, Dr. Kavanaugh, this is Holly, and I just, you mentioned the governor, and I just wanted to ask, I, I get the impression that you think that, that our governor has done a good job of staying in front of this. I feel like he has, but I've, I wanted your expert opinion. Do you think we're doing a good job as a state of, of being aggressive with this? Well, I think is on the social side of things, what me and you do in directing us, yes. I'm not sure anybody can stay in front of this on the standpoint of having enough health care staff, having enough personal protective equipment. Our health care system in the United States has been run for maximum efficiency with little redundancy, and that has gone on for years. And as you know, I've been on here talking about infectious disease in the past. We do not have a unified system of reporting and of testing that is really comprehensive enough for all pathogens. And when you have that type of situation and then you get into this type of emergency predicament, you do not have a sufficient infrastructure to handle a huge peak of patients. And that is why the social distancing and what we call flattening the curve is so important. 